That was a rubbish clap. Let me give a break for a second. That was still rubbish, but we'll go with that one. So, beer review for today. We are drinking this beer here, which is King Slayer. Um, IPA or double IPA. So we were playing D&D &D on our Discord server last night with Jilly Ogre Carly being our Dungeon Master. So we've got King Slayer um, to drink in, in celebration of playing D&D &D and me not killing anybody this time or not killing anybody on my own team this time. Uh, so the tasting notes for this beer says a fruity double IPA, dry hop with citra, mosaic, eucanot and sabro hops. Um, the can's got a really cool dragon on it. It's blowing fire out everywhere. It's really, really cool. They've changed the can over the years. The can used to be green and now it's kind of like this color. Um, I don't know why it's changed though. And then it's got 8% alcohol in it. So that's all I can tell you about it. Oh, and it's made by Buxton Brewery. That's all I can tell you about it. But you died. I didn't die. Oh yes, I did die. I died quite quickly. I died very quickly in, in Dungeons and Dragons again. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got the, let the bodies hit the floor in French. La si le corps tuba al sol. Less, it doesn't have quite the same ring as let the bodies hit the floor. Right, okay, let's get this poured into the glass. I think Saggy, I think Saggy deserves a beer after his day he's had. I think Saggy deserves a beer as well. Right, so it's quite cloudy, not the cloudiest, it's quite clear at the bottom there where it's kind of finished. So, um, yeah, it's not super, super cloudy, but it's reasonably cloudy. Smell wise. Bananas, bananas and oranges. I like to eat, eat, eat bananas. Yeah, it smells very banana and orangey. I like it already. The smell's really nice. Oh, it's a really strong flavor. Really strong flavor of, it tastes like ops. It tastes like ops and beer. <laughs> no, it tastes like, obviously it's got a beer taste to it, which you'd expect. It's got an early taste to it. But I'd say like there's overripe bananas, definitely overripe bananas at the front. But it's really nice. It's a nice beer. Once again, you know like we had those crushable beers the other day where you could spend the whole night drinking loads of them. The flavor in this is really strong to the point where I think you'd probably have one or two over the course of the night and go, yeah, like I've had too much of this. That's too much flavor for my flavor palette. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think it's something you'd have with probably, I'd probably have this with seafood. I think this would be nice with some seafood. It'd be really cool. Um, because it's really strong flavour against like ni a nice sea bass would be quite subtle. I think it'd work quite nice as a juxtaposition. Does it taste like beer? It tastes like beer, Ian. And for that reason, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this a four out of five for tasting like beer. So cheers, everybody. <laughs>